Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. It's Wrestling Wit Entertainment, bringing you the latest exclusive breaking news, previewing and reviewing the latest shows from WWE, AEW, New Japan, and everything in between, and interviewing all your favorite wrestlers every Saturday and Wednesday on YouTube and Castbox. I am your host, James J. With Coleco Yachts, who is not here. Mitch Mayhem, who is actually here and on time. Oh, you stop. I knew you were going to go there. Hey, oh, what up, everybody? And not emotionally invested in this this episode, Scooter Dust. Hello. <laughs> and it is a great day for wrestling. Last week, uh... On the show, we interviewed Theo Ivory, which was an incredible interview with an incre- incredible individual, and we wish him nothing but the best. Awesome guy. Uh, but next up, this Wednesday, we have Waves and Calls, Jalen Brendan and Trayvon Jordan, our first ever tag team. On the 10th of February, we got... Space Jesus, Billy Starks. <laughs> that name, I'm sorry. Space, Space Jesus. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it's still that's 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 gold. <laughs> Lil, Lil Mean Kathleen on the 17th of February, and on um, and on tw- the February 27th, Unbreakable Sean Phoenix. So you're. February is stacked with all new interviews with all new incredible people. Kathleen is dropping on the 17th, and Sean uh, Phoenix is dropping. Would Sean Phoenix drop on the 24th? 24th, my bad. Just okay. uh, real quick, you say it's February, uh, my birthday month, but yeah, uh, that, that's all for that. I'll move on. <laughs> Happy birthday. Well, we'll get there when we get there. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm just saying it's going to be a good month. That's all I mean. You and Coleco have uh, February birthdays. Aquarius' motherfucker. Exactly. What's up? <laughs> um, Not a great day for the McMahon family as uh, Rod uh, McMahon died earlier this week. Oh, Roderick McMahon. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard of the man. I, I, you're going to have to fill me in. He, um, so, some people knew who he was. Some didn't. So a big coming in. Hold on. Um, he was a, he was Vince's brother. Well, and uh, obviously. Okay, sorry. I actually, I believe he, is, he was Vince's half-brother. I believe Real that's quick correct. question. Was he like a, were they, uh, what's the word, uh, were, yeah, were they, they were on Rocky. No, they were. They had a. They had a good relationship. Okay. Uh, Vince approached him many times about uh, you know, bringing him in, oh. and and he refused. He he said, "Yeah, that's not. My, it's not the life for me." Uh, um, Didn't want Roderick to be handed anything, probably. Is is not the son of uh, of. Uh, of uh, Vince Senior. Oh, okay. He's not. I thought he was the same father or different mother. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Different mother. What? Different mother. Same father. Different mother. Uh, and I can't remember Vince's mother, but uh, 77. Uh, he he was a car salesman. He was he, he uh, t- lived in Texas most of his life. He was a he was a very private guy, so there's not going to be a lot of information on him. Um, not, and there's not. Uh, but you know yeah. that was kind of one of those you know big stories. You know when it came to you know the the rumor mill, uh, what was can't... Vince McMahon's brother like? Oh uh, yeah. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, Mitch. No, uh, go ahead and finish this. I was just waiting for you to like. Uh... Yeah, I was kind of done. I was just saying, you know, it's kind of, he's this big personality in the wrestling business that didn't technically ever step into the wrestling business. We just kind of, you know, 
he's famous by association with the McMahon name. But I mean, he mm -hmm. he has. I mean, we're talking about him right now, so he is a part of wrestling uh, to some degree. Uh, I don't know who his, his brother is, but real I, quick, I no disrespect. I I had no idea about this story, and I know, you know, I. I I'm in the inside of things, I think. So I, I didn't know about this. Uh, I think, honestly, a bigger story to me is Larry King's family. Um, uh, but. Well, that, that, that is true, but... Um, That's a big one. The, the, the Vince wanted him, wanted, wanted his brother, Rod, on TV in 2007 after McMahon's limo blew up. For, but what were they gonna do a switcheroo or what? Like that? I think the idea was to 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 bring him in as essentially. Oh, he's a McMahon. He's oh, so they, they think, okay, that would actually work because you think that you got the kids and then Linda and then all of nowhere someone. Okay, that would kind of work. But with, that's yeah, kind of what they were doing with the Kennedy thing before it blew up in their face. I mean, and uh, I mean, yeah. Other other than that. Yes, he was. I mean, Vince and his brother were close. Well, uh, well. Vince, Vince was you know, devastated. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, other. Uh, I mean, other than that, yeah, everything is. Uh, I mean, the. What, what, I mean, yeah. There was some, uh, uh, one. There are a few talent. Who actually met Roderick McMahon? One being Ryback. Okay. And Ooh. who had who had who had nothing but great things to say. Um. And that's saying a lot, considering you know what's going on with him right now in WWE and Mark Henry. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, because he's, all, he's always been hated in the back. His, <laughs> Rod, Rod, Roderick McMahon was actually a client of Ryback's uh, nutritional supplement. Interesting. More nutrition. Oh, his steroid line? I mean his nutrition line? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, like Mitch said, um, Lion King <laughs> also joking. died uh, earlier this week as well. Um... You know, a, a lot of professional wrestlers have came on his show uh, during the years. Is does Lion King have any impact on pro wrestling? You know, other than the Shawn Michaels, um, you what know. What do you mean? Be more specific if you can, like. I mean, and I, I honestly don't think Larry King is really had had. I mean, aside from. The Nacho Man yeah, and the exactly. Hulk Hogan, they, they did a whole mockumentary around Larry yeah. King's show with that. He is, yeah. he has been a part of wrestling. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, but that, yeah, but they got somebody else to play Larry King I, in that instance. Okay, but then he did a, didn't he do a Raw host it when they did the, like, celebrity hosts for Raw? Wasn't he one of the hosts? I mean, no. he has been involved. No. I could have sworn he was. No, no, he was too. Hold on, I'm going to no. He, gonna, he was he, he was involved in I, I, one of the pay per view in the past. Okay, I'll make sure. Hold on. Uh, like in the same way, like Alex Trebek was involved in WrestleMania Seven. Okay. He, he did he did he did something, but in terms of outside, I mean. WWE even made it, issued a statement on it and everything, but yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I would even say, you know, you know, Cloris Leachman's passing was bigger. E, damn, dude. I, I grew, I mean, so many people grew up on Larry King, though. I'm, I'm just saying. It, it, it goes outside of the wrestling realm. It touches everyone. Okay, okay, Boomer. And, exactly. Uh... All, all our thoughts and prayers go out to the McMahon and King family. Um, one thing that's been Sorry. making the rounds this um uh this week or last week or whatever week, uh, Undertaker had some big words to say about the current product and saying that the wrestlers today are soft. 
Uh, is this just oh. a controversy I... from a grizzled old veteran, or is there some oh. meaning to what he says? Okay, I've got it real quick. Okay, so I didn't, I honestly didn't know about this. I was wondering why Mick Foley posted a picture of him and The Undertaker and captioned with, just for the record, I think wrestlers nowadays have a, are, you know, are just as hard as we are, or work just as hard as we are. So I was like, where the fuck did that come from? Now I get it. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, also, Foley had to apologize for a tweet about David Crumholtz. I saw that, yep, uh, about the David Crumholtz. As McIntyre or something? Yeah, yeah, with his with his fucking butt crack hanging out, it, it, it's ridiculous. <laughs> fucking snowflake. Uh, All of I you. mean, he yeah. should, like he's uh, hypocrites. He should talk. I'm just saying. I mean, Mac, I'm just but, saying. I mean, Mick Foley is just trying to stay relevant at this point, unfortunately. And he caught himself. I know. I'm just uh, saying, like glass houses, you know. Well, a lot of wrestlers took offense of what. Uh, Undertaker said. Um, Scooter, is there some substance to what Undertaker said, or is it kind of a mute point? Mm -hmm. No, because everybody knows that he can now outrun the Undertaker. So... I mean, that was always the case <laughs> before his legs were fucked up. I, I mean, there's no more wrestler's court... You know, he he's no he's not the judge, Jerry, or or even Judge Judy at this point. Um, but I mean, there is an argument to be made that he contributed to that toxic locker room mentality. I'm just that, yes, yes, that is that that is also true. You, there there is no yeah, Undertaker is not a saint when no, it comes to uh, not at all ma making those uh, types of comments. Um, Honestly, I think I think it's nothing more than resentment. Right. I I really think the Undertaker hates how he went out. I mean, I don't blame him. He he, he might feel used. He might feel like they took him behind the uh, the barn for the for the glue in his hooves, you know. Speaking about glue in his hooves, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Challenged Cody to a match oh, at Revolution. God. That's a thing. Oh that Me and Cody Rhodes, we're gonna fight. Yeah, we're gonna fight. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to see. Another yeah. giant yeah. against a, a comparative midget to him. Great. I'm gonna ramble him and ding dong. We're gonna fight Cody Rhodes. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. He doesn't even Cody. have chemistry. I mean, chemistry. He can't. <laughs> charisma. <laughs> he doesn't even have charisma. Uh, hey, it's it's both ch words with ch. Give me a break. Yeah. I mean, you're the punk. Yes. Put your goalie hair, dude. Uh, I, you're a punk. I challenge you. I'm, 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 I'm shy. Yeah. I give his hand four yeah. stars. I give his hand four rings. That's a good ham. Um, I wonder if anyone can even hear what I'm saying. If this does actually yeah, happen, yeah. which I'm pretty sure it's going to happen, <laughs> uh, this isn't going to be a five-star match in the Tokyo Dome, correct? Hey, I would be shocked if it's a match at all, bro. It's hullabaloo, bro. It's oh, hype, 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 hype. The only way this gets any sort of winning is if LeBron interferes and helps Cody win. That's or something like that. Yeah, I was going to say, like, someone like Warsaw comes in and takes the beating for Cody. <laughs> and, you know, obviously, the AEW is doing this to get, uh, you know, some notoriety. Uh, but the, if Shaq, oh, Warsaw, I meant Warsaw. Okay, if sorry, Shaq has a match in the middle of the woods, does anybody see it? I mean, if I mean, if Aaron Carter can beat Shaq, um, I mean... Bigfoots would probably think there's a family reunion going on. <laughs> oh, dude. dude. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't mean oh. damn, damn dirty apes. Well, blame it on Scooter. He called him the entertainment shitter. He likes to shit on the entertainment. Oh, twist my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably our main event. They um, call him the shitter. No, I'm sorry. Go of the news yes. portion of the show. Yeah. The WWE uh, Network 
is going to be it's, on Peacock now. Yeah, and we Oh, my God. $5 less. I called it last week. I think you did, that, yeah. Yeah, the, the WWE would likely move to... Uh, to be part of another streaming service. And honestly, this is actually a genius idea. Because, so because now it it gives the WWE the tiers that they want. It also exposes the WWE Network to a lot more people because now you're not paying for the network. Now the network is a Bonus. So Inter it's essentially an add-on. If you have just the base peacock, you could. Uh, no, yeah, no. It, it will come with peacock no matter what tier you buy. Okay. okay. It will just it will just matter if you get the four ninety nine tier, you're going to get a lot more commercials. Oh. Ah. Well, I think it's commercials versus none, really. But uh, well, um, there is there is a free tier with. Twice uh, as many commercials, four ninety nine uh, for half as less, nine ninety nine for no commercials. It's right. Nine, it's nine ninety nine for no commercials. You said correct. Yes. So and, actually, this is the same right. the same as the WWE Network. You're just getting a lot more. You're getting the okay. office with it. I, I gotta bring I this mean, up. Okay, more less and less people are gonna watch WWE Network on Peacock because I promise you. People don't – they get lazy. They don't – they just stay on their memberships of prior services. They don't uh, check. They're not going to want to go through extra content to get to their WWE wrestling. I'm just uh, saying. The, the network is shutting down – the app itself is shutting down on March 18th. Well, it's transferring to Peacock. Yes, it, yes, but you can't – you will no longer be able to access right. the WWE network separately. But you can um, still like, buy into the – you could no. watch right now. You can't. Oh. They are not accepting new memberships. Oh wow! Uh, if, if you have a current membership on file, you will you will be essentially be paid for uh, February, and then uh, um, okay. I Good. believe there will be a deal for current network subscribers. But you there, know there is going to be. A couple of months free, in um in in terms of that, uh. But the fact that now WWE is part of you know a a universal streaming service, and especially especially a a new one, which it which let's let's face it, a lot more people will access because. There, there's a free tier. But now, Mitch actually that, brings that, up yeah. a big. Mitch actually brings up a Dang. good point when he says, "You know, I'm not going to go to another streaming service because it's too much of a hassle. Too many streaming I, services. Ah, I already. You would be Netflix. shocked how many, how many other people don't want to go through." Other but, content just to get to the wrestling, they will just give up and watch it online or something but, else. Or the, not at uh, all. The fact that one, uh, the service will be going out free to Xfinity and uh, Cox cable subscribers. Okay, cable is. Wait, eh, but that's wait outdated. a minute. Hold that's on. Old, outdated system that's been moved on from from uh, by a lot of people. And. Peacock is going to be added to cable guides. Okay. So, so wait, we, that makes no sense. Or is it going to be like a video on demand version of NBC or what? Yes. Okay. All right. And uh, and, and, and and Universal Movie Service. They have they have all the right. Harry Potter movies, yeah. sci-fi and whatnot. I know. Uh, right. all, but, all their properties, USA. Like yeah. like right right now, I you know, I have a channel for Netflix in my cable guide. Un under that or on top of that, Peacock will be there. Well, I'm sure HBO and Disney will probably be there eventually, too. No, no, H HBO Max, but which I have because of my, my cable package. Right, yeah, sit at the table. Right. Uh, HBO, Ma HBO Max is a distinct, and they've said HBO Ma there, there's the distinction between 
what is essentially supposed to be perceived as a strictly streaming service like HBO Max as opposed to HBO Go. The only difference... Yeah. Sorry, going. Uh, I was just going to say real quick, the only difference I see is that HBO Max is in the... This is just recently, too. Like a month ago, they're do, they're releasing titles that would otherwise be released in the movie theaters on their streaming yeah. service. I think that's a value. Yeah, but but they, they, they released them for 30 days. Oh, the there's the patch. Oh, okay. And the thing turns like days. Calico Yachts. 30 days. Those cheap motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza and paint, man. I'm telling you, it's a hectic Friday. What's good? Like a one hell of a combination. No. As a topping? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I, I don't, I don't think our, I don't think our rethink. I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, Lil Mean Kathleen would like pain pizza. So really. <laughs> Could you tell us uh, what your thoughts on um, Peacock, uh, WWE Network moving to Peacock, Calico? Uh, it it depends on wh- the the pricing plan for me because the way it looks, from what I see, is that if it's not if you're still paying the nine ninety nine, everything is just going to transition and you're just adding Peacock. But if you don't want to pay the nine ninety nine and you pay the four ninety nine, you get it with the ads. It I, I'm just trying to figure out where the distinction is. Uh, uh in, in that is- part. Is that you're not adding on Peacock? It's that you're buying Peacock and getting the WWE Network. Ah, so they became the side chick, the, the exactly. mashed potatoes. Uh, so they're I, the mashed potatoes to the chicken. Is pretty much what it. It's the it. streaming service version of NBC Universal. Yeah, I yeah. don't understand. I get why they named it Peacock. I'm just saying that's a I weird mean, name, and that can be I, memed to, to high heaven. Think about it. Think about the I two mean, words called. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm a peacock named... captain. You gotta let me fly on this one. Uh, peacock I mean, captain. <laughs> I, I mean, they could have named it Peacock. <laughs> oh God, That's that true. is true. That's but the only reason they did that because the NBC logo is a is a peacock. Am I right? <laughs> well, yeah, right. According to Katy Perry, are you brave enough to let me see you peacock? What the fuck does that mean? That's a song from Kid I don't know. It's a song. I, I feel dirty after hearing that. Right. I, everybody feels dirty. Okay. <laughs> but 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 we'll see. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out: Am I gonna have to like get rid of the WWE Network on my smart TV? Because that's no, you're gonna be transferred over to Peacock probably. Uh, Bullshit. The network itself, oh, the app, will stop functioning on March 18th. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, there is no uh. They haven't announced what they're doing in terms of transitioning current subscribers. Most likely, there's going to be a, uh, a, a, a probably, I would say, six months uh, free, three months at the least, of free service um, for, for uh, current network subscribers. The network is not taking any new subscribers. Yeah, you just said that. And, um, yeah, I mean, and, and, and that's, ba- that's basically it. I mean, this is generating a billion dollars in, in revenue, um, essentially. It also leads to the possibility that within five years, Comcast could own the WWE. Oh, Ooh. fuck. Fuck! I hope you're wrong. I hope he's wrong as well. But, you but know, I, also when... saw what it, I also saw what happened to it with the ESPN part, because ESPN can't yeah, cover them anymore. Can't. Which, no, to me, it, it, that's, a, that's a bigger issue than anything. To me. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's that they can't. I think ESPN is just Essentially pissed, yeah, and they're, they're refusing like to cover. But that, and and out. and that makes sense because. Of the, but then again, when you think about it, I, I feel like by them choosing not to cover WWE, in essence, they're choosing not to cover wrestling. Because although they do 
cover other wrestlers, the the WWE portion is the main draw to get them get readers who would otherwise not known to read those articles about you know certain various wrestlers and promotions. So to me, it's almost like it's hurting the business in a sense. But you also have to you also have to think about was there ever a point where Disney was in talks there was. to bring to bring the WWE network to Disney Plus? I, mean, I know a lot of companies were in talks. Well, now if if they went to Disney Plus, I think this would have been, that wouldn't have worked. Been, no, I I think it absolutely would have. Disney yeah. Plus was a wrestling platform, so they would never be able to go above PG, basically. Mitch is right. Well, my problem with that is... You would have been able to see the Attitude Era on, on saying, Disney yeah. Plus. It, but I think that would have... have new attitude, or, but, you know, yeah. A new Attitude Era ever come. But sorry, what were you going to say, Kluger? Well, yeah. they, they were in bed with too many companies because they got one TV rights to Fox, then they got one the right. NBC. So it's like they're mixing too much, and it's going to be a conflict eventually. Damn, it already is, and that's what he's yeah. he trying to say with the ESPN situation. It, they, they're, they, they only care about that cash, baby. And they're, they're backstabbing people and, and other relationships they've had in the past to get that extra cash and infused into them, you know? So. Now, there hasn't been, as far as I know, a lot of outcry from fans that they really dislike this, um, this Since transition. When, that, when has that stopped, Vince McMahon? I'm just saying. Well, no, I'm I mean, there, is, uh, there hasn't been. I, I mean, honestly, from the, the places I've read uh, opinions, um, a, lot, a lot of people are... are Happy that they and they they're buying into the idea that they could pay five bucks less for WrestleMania. And just uh, but but I also think it's because of the simple fact that like it the the way the market is changing now because I think as much as yeah you say it's about the money but until they could actually I think. They did this in a sense of they're not going to go back to live gate anytime soon. So they have to substitute the revenue that they would have got from going city to city. Does it make sense? I mean, they've uh, already made up a lot of the revenue. Really all, we also have to take into account now, yes, the WWE Network is moving to Peacock, but it. Is are they going to still have essentially a WWE network channel on Peacock? I think it'll be kind of like the network. It said that you go on Peacock, then you go to the wrestling uh, WWE uh, network area. Yeah. Like, are they still going to have that same like twenty four hours of programming constantly going? Because what what this oh, I really oh, can open or, up? Yeah. Okay. Is not ma- ma- multiple streams instead like, of a, it, instead of a single library. Yeah, I agree. I think yeah, you know, almost almost like what Pluto TV does with, with with movies. Have they separate everything into like 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 genres and everything? Basically, just a big uh, video on demand library. Uh, yeah. I I also believe there's going to now na- there's going to be a separate stream for WrestleMania. That would work. I mean, it just yeah. Instead I mean, of, I, it, it change is good. We'll see. I I mean, instead of being on the you know, traditional network, they would be like, okay, here's the extra stream for WrestleMania, and that that could probably save all those bandwidth issues hmm. that. And th- that the network uh, can support. Here, okay, so I think they have something big if they use WrestleMania like their Super Bowl. I think it, it just depends on how the company works it and uses it, but Super Bowl what? is used for it every year. And again, it can literally be done that way. 
This is literally it just announced. It's in its infancy. We've got we got uh, time to see it grow and see what comes of it, and then I, we just next week we will be in a better position to make further judgments. You're absolutely right, and I think that's where we'll conclude this um th this discussion and our news portion of the show. And we are wrestling with WWE Royal Rumble Preview. It's tomorrow, guys. And, um, yeah, lots and lots to talk about. Um, this is WWE's first uh, pay preview in 2021. Uh, how important is this Royal Rumble? Because it's you know, we're in the pandemic era of wrestling now, and this is kind of going to set us on our course for the uh, the rest of the year. Correct, Scooter? Yeah, yeah, it, it absolutely is. Also, uh, it's very late in the month for the WWE to to um to do it. I think they were waiting I, I don't think for, uh, to try and get a yeah. crowd, but that failed. Yeah. But yeah, this is the latest in January they've ever done a Royal Rumble. Almost uh, February first start. Oh, uh, what about you, Mitch? Your opinion? I think we lost Mitch. I'm right here. Sorry, sorry. Um, I honestly think because of the the pandemic and everything, I I think there's kind of a downturn on especially like uh. Things that you would have to pay for, or you know, special events, things like that. Um, I, I it, it's just normal. It's just normal hype. It's not anything, you know, too big right now. So I don't expect anything huge out of it, but we'll see. What say you, Felica? Uh, I do have a prediction, though. But yeah, we'll mm -hmm. wait for later for that. Uh, I th I think this year they're not caught off guard, so now they actually can adjust. I feel like all the sports are kind of adjusting. Uh, I think this year should be a little better because you know, well, as far as the know. as far as the road to WrestleMania because now they they know what's what's happening. Because like unlike like the M NBA and WWE got caught flat-footed because basically it happened in the midst of their seasons quote-unquote. So they didn't get a chance to like prepare as much so now straight this year i think they should be able to be more prepared straight up 2020 was the year of motherfucking murphy's law dude anything that could go wrong would go wrong so i'm just saying it it's gotta it, it, it's gotta be up from here i mean comparatively well let's but, get into um, the first match Women's but, well yeah. i just yeah. wanted to just, just bring this uh up that there is a and I'll just say this say this because this is all we know that there is somebody and this was reported by Russell Boats that somebody had a brief conversation with somebody very close to the WWE booking committee, possibly even part of planning this Royal Rumble, and there's a finish on the table that this person on the booking committee has said scares him to death. And it's getting heavy, heavy consideration. Sounds like my prediction. And, and I, th I think, I think, Mitch and I might have the same idea here. But let's get into it. Let's yeah. Get into the first match: Women's Tag Team Championship match: Oscar and Charlotte versus Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Who wins, Mitch? Uh, sorry, say that one more time. <laughs> Oscar and Charlotte versus Shayna Baszler okay. and Nia Jax. Gotcha. Women's tag team. Oscar and Charlotte. What's your use? Oscar and Charlotte. This is, this is very odd because they pushed all four of them in separate ways, but not towards each other. Right. Don't you love WWE book? I they, they've they've had Charlotte with Lacey and Lacey trying to bang Rick. I'm sorry, uh, that's just a really it makes Lacey look really dumb in my opinion. It, it makes Rick an look old man. Like, yeah, 
Anyway, I mean, I, I think there's woo, value in Lacey Evans. Evans. I, really I really do. But. I went woo in my depends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you had, you had, who was essentially the, the the f most fearless woman on the roster, and you make her essentially oh. Alexa Bliss's bitch. Who who were you? Uh, uh, Oscar. Oscar. Oh well, yeah. Like so for the first time, we've seen Oscar scared. Right. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, you had you're what? teasing this the split from between Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, and, and they're you know tangling up with Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. And ah, it, uh, okay, I don't get that one, but I'll say yeah. It, it, this is a this is an entire clusterfuck of uh. It, so uh, who was uh, the clusterfuck? Or, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, Oscar and Charlotte. Kalika? I mean, uh, I, it's hard to figure out who's going to win because it depends on how the story goes. Because Asuka's not defending the title at, at the Rumble. So it leads me to believe that they're going to lose the tag titles because eventually... Because the, the Shayna Jax thing, they always been arguing, so that shit ain't new. You know what I mean? Like, what it's they're doing with them is not... For a while, yeah. It's not new. And one of the things, like, that they highlighted in the build was, oh, they don't get along. And they were like, we were champions and we never got along. We never got along. Okay. So they, 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 they said it in your mind that it's always going to be that way. Right. So to so me, that's why I think they'll win. Um, maybe Lacey's costing them the titles because so that way Charlotte can go after Lacey. Well that's what okay. you said. Bro, I mean, that was, oh I was gonna say real quick, but hey, go ahead. Oh uh, it's okay. Like uh, like Scooter said, you know, Oscar and Charlotte both kinda went they won the championships and then they went their separate ways. While Shayna and Naya, even though the the titles were the only thing keeping them together, are still actually together because they actually do want those championships back. So I think that the Oscar Charlotte Flair was just something to get Charlotte back on the map and you know give her that Grand Slam title. But I think it's that experiment's over. I think they're going to give it back to Baszler and Jax. Which means they should have just won by DQ in the match because that made no fucking sense for them to have the titles just to lose it. Real quick. Go, adding on to what Coleco said, uh, as devil's advocate, Shayna and with Shayna and Nia Jax situation, I feel like they could be using like a, a false flag, like to get all the attention on them turning and then ha flip it around for, to Oscar and Charlotte so no one sees it coming. Hmm. Nah. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just saying it wouldn't surprise me. Universal I, Championship I, match. Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. Last man standing match. No. Who wins match? Sorry, my dog just uh, yanked my headset off. Say that again. Roman versus Owens. Last man standing match. Mm, I don't... Okay, in this era, there's a new rule that I go by. Never bet against Roman. Roman Reigns. Scooter, are you betting against Roman? Uh, a very interesting situation was brought up about what if the Miz gets involved? It would have to be done the right way because I think they've already shit on his push. Yeah, and yes. They, but, I think but, but, but then how do you cash in money in the bank during a last man standing match? After you've already That's technically it. lost it, yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. But, yeah, this... Yeah, it's it's Roman, and I don't think Roman's night is going to stop no. with this match. And and this is the Roman that I've been waiting years since WrestleMania 31 for. I thought I was going to see that Roman at 31 against Brock. Didn't happen. But better late than never. I'm glad he found, he realized what he had to do, and they finally pulled the trigger eventually. But yeah. What say you, Coleco? Uh. The head of the table. I, I love Owens, but this is for Roman to continue to reign because 
Ah, I see what I, you I, did there. <laughs> there you go. I mean, let, lest we forget that, you know, this, Reigns' position was Kevin Owens four years ago. Like exactly. That. That's the funniest part. It's like just four years ago, they both were the opposite then, ends of the spectrum. And but, now then, like, but then who ended Owens' run? Goldberg. Goldberg. Oh, this this is gonna be. Let's let's move on, shall we? Yeah. Well, if it gets the, if that it gets the Roman gone. Goldberg, that means Goldberg would have to lose the match and win the Royal Rumble. Oh okay, uh, no! Oh, well, you really think that they would have that Goldberg would come back to lose? No way! No. Is, is Ray, well, my problem the, the, no the problem is the the, the no issue way. is I can Ray, see if it was one. The only way that this would happen is if they're planning on unifying both belts. And just no. saying the hell with the brand split. No. Uh, I think... We're going, and I guess we're going to jump ahead to that scary finish. The, the, first, the first thing that came <sighs> to my mind was Brock. But then... Bro, uh, as a, have- hold on. Hold on. Wait. As of right now, Brock is... Brock is... Uh, not going to be there. Okay. Can can I? The other thing, my... Hold on. Let me finish my idea. Ah, uh, you were sorry. <laughs> the other one is Roman enters the Rumble. No. Goldberg beats McIntyre. Roman wants Goldberg. Okay, I think people are missing someone or forgetting something. The third person with a spear. Edge. No, he's not winning. Yes, Edge and Orton has been a. They have been wanting this forever. Well, let's. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. I'm just uh, saying it makes you know, sense. Honestly, Roman's going to win this match. I think that's pretty it, clear. Uh, but one thing that was, you know, maybe a topic on on this particular match is Sasuke Nakamura kind of had like a mini face turn. Which kind of the, which Roman and Jey Uso kind of crossed them in that gauntlet match. So, Don't worry, he'll, they'll, turn, they'll turn him back. Uh, turn that him back. was another thing yeah. that was in the. That was another thing percolating that Nakamura wins the Rumble again, faces Roman at Mania to get the push, and he's the person that ends the reign. I don't think hmm. Nakamura's at that point right now after all the damage they've done to him and they put him in like a mid-card slot for so long. I think he needs time but, to reascend before he gets there. But the thing is, the fastest way to get back up there is to either A, win Money in the Bank, B, win the Royal Rumble. In the bank. I would have had look, A, or look, a win Money in the Bank. So. Look what happened with Bailey. Remember when we said Bailey was in this Mist of nowhere with the tag teams, and then she came back, won money in the bank, and it's been fucking high ceiling ever since. As champion? Yeah. So, to me, it's not out of the realm for Nakamura to win and and headline WrestleMania in Roman, and then him and Cesaro go into something. Yeah, I don't say about the Cesaro stuff, but we'll get into that maybe another time. Um, You'll be surprised. Let's get into the next match. WWE Championship match. Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. Who wins, Mitch? Oh, man. I, like I said, I don't think Goldberg would come back for a job, but is it another heart versus mind matter situation? Like, of course, I want uh, McIntyre. I don't like Goldberg. I don't like Goldberg. I'll never like Goldberg. But... Knowing his history, I just don't see him doing a job for as much as he's worth and as much as pull that he can use. So, what say you, Scooter? Yeah, we we've had a habit of speaking things into existence here, um, and. I mean, the idea, the idea for for this to even happen in the first place was the the, the rumor is Paul Heyman 
was trying to get keep Goldberg away from Roman. So, that what did again? That 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 Paul Heyman was trying Goldberg to keep Roman. Goldberg away from Roman. Maybe that would be smart. I, I mean, mean and I'm which is why I'm thinking if it go if Gold, Goldberg either ends up winning or Roman ends up costing him. Hmm. That's the which one are you going with though? Yeah, you know, just so I could just so I could be proven wrong, I'm gonna say Goldberg. What say you, Kaliko? <laughs> Are we thinking that the Miz got the briefcase and been taunting it? Uh, technically, I guess they say he, since he wasn't the one, since Morrison technically was the one who cashed it in, that he, I guess, still has it. But like I said, they've already fucked him so hard in this and made him look like a schmuck that even if he did somehow get the title, it would look like a fluke and it, like just a placeholder. Uh, which, to me, I think the that McIntyre wins because if Goldberg Goldberg has had the belt and took the loss to Braun last year. So right. it's not like like well, every time he's won the belt, it ain't like he held it for six months. He lost that bitch like two months later. So yeah, contractually, but yeah. It's not like you know what I mean? And I don't think that well, if they I, put that much in the Drew they didn't invest that much in twenty twenty in Drew just for him yeah. to lose to Goldberg. But how many matches did Goldberg have and he lost that one? I'm just saying. I mean... I'm just saying. The, the, his track I, record I, proves it's... I, so. I, I see that point, but for every one he gains, he also loses. So basically, he's 500. I mean, as he go, grows older... I, I call him 50. He's 50-50. I hope he understands his. He has a role to be a kingmaker right now and make real professional wrestlers spur them to the top. With his name, he doesn't have the juice anymore to to do what he used to do in his late thirties. Build some others up, but you know that old mentality of the late nineties, Hollywood Hulk Hogan that doesn't work for me, brother mentality. So he's part of that. Uh, We'll see if he moves on and grows from that or not. I hope so. Uh, I doubt that because think about it. The, other than the Brock I match, doubt that he'll grow. He he made. I mean, he basically gave. He basically put fucking Strowman over, which we were like, finally. The, you know uh, what I mean? Contractual. He was supposed to do it to Roman, but Roman had to. to but Roman uh, and that and that's what I'm saying. Over. 2020 just, I'm just saying it over. That, okay, but. Goldberg was giving up all those wins, all those wins, all those wins over Brock, over all these people. Yeah, eventually he was going to have to leave, and he can't go out on a, on a win. He's got to leave helping someone. That's just how it is. So, yeah, of course he's going to lose that one match. I'm just saying that's all he lost. No, nah, it ain't you know, one one. He, he's he didn't 50, go 50. out of his way to put people over. He Think did. about it. Put it this way. I'm just like saying, this. He, he, beat, he beat Owens, and then he lost the uh, – to Brock. to Brock. The next year Brock. he beat. The next Brock year he beats. Yeah. Come on, next year he beats the Fiend and then loses to to Braun. So it, if anything, it's fifty fifty. It ain't like he out there. Well, if you have going on an Oscar win streak, year of the, he had more matches than just that, and it was a year Let's in between see. a loss. I'm just I really saying. hope that you know Drew wins, and you know. I think like for the first time in what uh in WrestleMania Royal Rumble, uh the World WrestleMania, I'm not really sure what they're going doing with the WWE and Universal Championship. Like uh, I have an idea. I have an be, idea where they're going. The there's so many different but... directions they could go with it, and you know it's there's so many, and usually I could put my finger on it, but I'm not entirely sure. But um, for right but now, the Universal is clear. It has a clearer path than the WWE. SmackDown has a clearer path and, than than. And, Raw. and if, if you look, if you look beyond Goldberg, there is a clear standout on the Raw side, right? Of who should be facing Drew at Mania. 
and we'll get to that in the in the moment. Uh, but my pick is Drew. Um, next match up, the Women's Royal Rumble. Uh, because this is such a wild match, we all get three picks. Uh, Mitch, who wins the Women's Royal Rumble? Your top three picks. Mm, that's a tough one. Um, is Oscar and Charlotte in it? Uh, yes. No, Oscar can't be in it. She's champion. Oscar can't be. She's oh, a champion. Oscar can't be in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, no, Charlotte's okay. in, not Oscar. I think there's going to be a surprise entry that wins it, like a Becky or a Ronda or something. I mean, like that. A, a, a Be- Ronda has also been confirmed to not be there. Okay, so. well, I think they're going to have some other surprise. I mean, maybe Becky. Four months though. I mean, after ooh, that would be some comeback. Well, that'd be a snapback. Oh, four months after a pregnancy. <laughs> what? I seen, what yeah, for, like three months after, but okay. It was a month. And, you, yeah, that, I don't know. Oh, okay. Then. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was that soon. So who wins? Uh, so you have uh, a uh, who no, else? Okay. no, it's Charlotte, a uh, uh, mystery opponent. And um, let me think for a second here. Uh, okay, you guys go on and I'll get back to you with that third one. Scooter, you're top three. All right. First, uh, first is Bailey. Two right. is two is Bianca, Belair. Okay. And three. Okay. Three is Bia Ripley. Okay, I'm ready. Mitch. Yeah, Bailey, Charlotte, and uh, uh, a uh, mystery opponent. Calico. I guess we all like Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say. I honestly thought she was still out. That's why I didn't say her in the beginning. I'm gonna go Bailey. Scooter took my Bianca. Jesus. I was gonna say Bianca. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying he was thinking like I was thinking. So I'm yeah. gonna go Bailey, Bianca, and Bliss. Oh, that's that, a good one. That's that a good one. was that was that was a, my fourth consideration. That's actually a good one. I'm yeah. thinking Bliss, although the only hindrance is that she's so in deep with the Orton thing. That I wouldn't, because you know I, I, that's the only thing that's killing me. She's so in that deep with the it, with the Fiend Orton storyline, right? But that can make it more like more interesting in terms of like the Fiend resort, like you said, the story. It could play into it. You never know if it's done right. My picks, are... or maybe Orton caused. Oh. Or it costs Bliss the Rumble by attacking. That's what I was thinking, too. Oh, that would be great. That's a good one. You could, like, RKO her ass. Yes, that would actually work. Okay. My picks are... I mean, he basically cost her the main event. I just thought of that. My picks are Rhea Ripley, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. That's who. Uh, well, if, 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 real quick, if Becky had just recovered from December, uh, that's not possible. But I thought she had her baby like in October or September. Well, it depends. If she had a natural birth or a C-section, that's, uh, that's a month is impossible. It depends if she has stitches. It really exactly. Does. Yeah, it oh, does. Yeah. It truly the, the does. Birth, uh, regard, yeah. Regardless of how you deliver. But I'm just saying. Even like with everything, like best case scenario, if it's only a month, I don't think that's possible. But we'll see. And that leads us to the main event, the men's Royal Rumble. The same rules apply. Who wins, Mitch? Okay. Huh? Uh, me? Yeah. Top uh, two. Okay. I. All right. Um, two people. Edge and AJ. AJ Styles? 
AJ Styles. No, AJ Lee. Yeah. yeah. AJ, AJ Lee. Lee. Light it up. Light it up. Light it up. Yeah. AJ from Monroe, Louisiana. Yeah, AJ Styles. Uh, uh, AJ <laughs> Styles and Edge. Yeah. Okay. Scooter. Huh? What, what you... Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, since we get since we get three picks, I said two. You said mm-hmm. yeah, you said two, one. but we get three. Edge and AJ. Uh, for women. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Do what you want. <laughs> Do what makes you happy. You James. get to pick three for the men too. <laughs> I don't care. I don't okay. give. Just do what you want, buddy. He's All like, right. fuck it. It's either Edge or AJ or Bus. <laughs> <laughs> you, first... got, you got your pack. Your eggs and all in one basket. Continue, Scoot. I'm sorry. Uh, first, first is Daniel Bryan. Ooh. Oh yeah. They are. They are. They are. They are, they are pushing him like. They're making the fact that he has a World Royal Rumble a very big deal. True. True. Uh, the big indication. Uh, second, the uh, the most likely underdog. Oh, here. okay. Um, um, big E. Really quickly, when you when you said earlier, it, you heard someone say there might be a really dangerous or scary finish. First thing that popped in my mind was, oh, okay, they're, they're talking about Daniel Bryan. <laughs> no, the, the scary fish is, is that after Roman finishes beating Kevin Owens, he takes oh. a spot in the Rumble just so you can get at Goldberg. How would that be scary? Because nobody wants to see it. I thought you meant like a scary spot, like a dangerous no, spot. No, oh, like, never mind, like, never mind. no. Never Because they were trying to do it because... Because you remember they were trying I to do it last like, year and right, nobody right. was having it. And, was okay. uh, and my third pick and the most, I think the most obvious from uh, from Raw, and I think he's going to win his second, Sheamus. Oh my God, that would be a huge mistake. They they are they have been building be a towards huge mistake. She, they have been building towards Sheamus and McIntyre imploding. Right. I just don't agree with that. That's going back to the past. And that, he had a chance for famous in the past and screwed it. That would be, that would be huge mm. in in terms of the in terms of the overseas market. Plus, Sheamus's Royal Rumble win led to the one of the most infamous uh, title wins in WrestleMania history. Yeah. The, okay. Scottish versus Irish would be interesting. I am Scottish and Irish, so I get what you're saying. But I just Sheamus is. To me, he's old news, but we'll see. Yeah, so Dan- Daniel Bryan, Biggie, Sheamus. Coleco? Man, um, I'm going to – my first pick is Nakamura. I think Shinsuke. Um, the second pick to me, Keith Lee. Now, Ooh. hold on. Ooh, hold on for a second. That's a good Keith, pick. Keith Lee is not an officially announced competitor. Doesn't mean he means nothing. It, it, does, it does, yeah. But <laughs> I mean that that could be that could be a steep. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, so my second, uh, it, Keith Lee, if he if he goes in, Keith Lee. Um. So that's what Nakamura, Keith Lee. Who that's I third hope, one. I hope you're right about Nakamura. I just don't see them doing that. Because I feel like the SmackDown winner needs to go after Roman. So I could see the Daniel Bryan. So I'd pick two. I'd go Daniel Bryan, Nakamura, Keith Lee. Cause, and, the reason being, and, and the reason being, and the reason being is because Sheamus doesn't need the Rumble win to ask Drew That's for the true. title. That's true. And real quick, haven't they, haven't they been quietly leading up to a Daniel Bryan Roman thing in the past? <gasps> That would be a redo. That would be a redo. So I'm thinking I'm just either saying right. that there is a a set storyline ready to go. But uh, I, I'm, somebody's going to end that reign. So it's either to me, it's going to be either Brian or Nakamura. There's a those history. are the only two. There's top a history guys between those two. Yeah, there's history. I I mean the the uh, 
I see I, I see a couple of out of nowhere surprise wins, possibly for the Miz. No. Think about it. If the money in the bank, the money in the bank holder wins the rumble, goes to WrestleMania, and then ends How up in the cash your money in the bank to get thirty or what? And then he I and mean, then I know, I'm after asking what you're suggesting. And, no, but after he loses, he immediately cashes in. Hmm. After attacking. Maybe. Well, which is something we've never seen before. But true. um and of course the uh, the the real like out of left field win would probably be Jey Uso. No. Oh no, this no is, fucking way. This are my He's not picks. even the best Uso. He's not even the best Uso. This is these are my picks. I see that maybe a second Nakamura win. I think that maybe they that might be Romans versus Nakamura, the Chief versus the King of Strong Style. That's a possibility. Um, uh, I think I'm thinking, yeah. you know, I think they might give Randy Orton his third Royal Rumble win. I mean, in time with Stone Cold. Wait, what? Isn't Randy he a Orton. champion? Randy Orton wins. Isn't he a champion? No, no, Randy was not a champion. And what champion Orton, would he be? I thought Orton still had the title. And no, Drew does. No, Drew yeah, got the I title. Didn't, I'm, I'm you not, just, you no. just, you just made your pick for Drew versus Goldberg. <laughs> no, I did what? I said anyway. <laughs> My, because I, I, yeah, I, I was still assuming. That's why I said Edge with the Orton thing. But anyway, so, hey, you didn't take a third pick, remember? Yeah, fuck you. You know, it doesn't the ma- <laughs> it doesn't make sense, and he doesn't need it. They don't need it. But obviously, they're going Edge versus Orton at Mania again. And you know, ah. it wouldn't surprise me if Vince said, "Put the belt right. on him, pal. They need the belt." That's um, what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, I, I I don't think they're I going to Edge and Orton again. I I thought they were going to take Orton to to well, here, to Royal Rumble, for that exact point. You know, keep in mind that there is two pay previews before WrestleMania and between Rumble and Mania. We have, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Fastlane and Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber. Yeah. Fastlane is so, the most unnecessary pay-per-view, I'm just saying. So a lot could happen between Mania and Rumble. And you know, I really struggled with that third guy. I'm, I'm still going back and forward with it. You know, uh, Edge. Well, I really wouldn't like Edge to win, but Brian, that's a possibility. I think with things Scooter said and other things, I I think Brian is looking more and more like that. That fits that spot. Yeah. But yeah, my I mean, my because name, we can always just say. Oh, yeah. I see. What my for, for sure Nakamura is locked for me. I'm I'm definitely going to Nakamura. Yeah. Um. Hope you're right. And then the other two were kind of up in the air because I'm kind of leaning towards Jordan, but I'm not entirely there. Welcome to my world, dude. <laughs> and you know there is possibility of Brock Lesnar coming in or Goldberg or. Uh. Anybody else? So. We hear, yeah, every no, 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 big no. show we hear. Oh, maybe Brock's coming back. You know. So. No, it, but again, that 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 scary <laughs> finish. That it's like, oh god, like we don't like it's it's that scream scary. something we don't want to see. Scary because one person is dominating the whole damn thing. Yeah. Uh, scary because Taking probably it, it, it it's been done and done and done. I, I, I wouldn't that, be, that I would be surprised if for some reason they want to go with Brock and Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, I, I know. But I'm just saying, like, that's but, the problem with this man. I mean, okay. If Daniel Bryan doesn't win, then... I'm 
I think the perfect WrestleMania story for the guy to try to dethrone the head of the table is Seth Rollins. Oh, yes. That but was... that's more of the... Uh, that, I think that's... Back to back. I had him in my mind, and I could not remember. I had Because I had my dream, but... Yeah. I'm going... The dark guy, Seth Rollins. 100%. Okay, real quick. Is it, uh... But Seth would come back as a face, and, and he's been a heel, and it's it, if he's... you're gonna if you're gonna argue about Roman situation being the same old same old, you can't. That's the same thing with Rollins, literally. Because if Seth wins, you can, you put him into a feud with Jay. Oh no! Oh, I already don't like it. Nope. I mean, of course we we could all just hedge our we could just hedge all of our bets and just say CM Punk. <laughs> that would be my guy. Hell yeah, see a pack for Royal Rumble. John Cena's a possibility uh, as well. Y'all just don't know. Oh, yeah. 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 a possibility. Yeah. Punk is my dude. Yeah. There's, there, there's, the, there's the rumor of Cena Goldberg at WrestleMania. Oh, my God. I know th- they are both locked for WrestleMania matches, whether oh, yeah. it's against each other. Each other though, yeah. Um... Uh, I think that would be better to that keep Goldberg away from. No, that yeah, would just that that would would keep Goldberg from the scenes. Like right. I said, if, if if Cena takes on Goldberg, he should get the Medal of Honor, uh, <laughs> the Nobel Peace Prize for saving literally uh, five moves of anybody, Doom versus two moves of Doom. If anybody says The Rock, no, just slap them in the face. <laughs> um, I mean, it's still possible. And, and of course, no, you know, absolutely not. <laughs> we'll, we will probably see a very good showing from Jay White. No, well, you think Jay White's with, gonna come to WWE? He's staying in New Japan for sure. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Um, Wait, you have you you know something or something? We don't. <laughs> hey, Jay, then fucking put up or shut up, motherfucker. <laughs> And that will conclude our coverage <laughs> of the Royal Rumble. Uh, whatever I does to happen, life. whatever does happen, we will review it next week on our special 100th episode of Wrestling with Entertainment. There was a time when I oh, didn't damn. think we would get past three episodes. Now here we are. Two Syndication. Years later. Huh? Syndication. Yay! Uh, and no, it's yeah. a syndication. Yes! And now we're at 100 episodes. Looking forward to the next 100. Until, uh, until uh. Saturday. Catch us on Wednesday when we interview Waves and Coils. Uh, Jalen uh, Brandon and Trayvon Jordan. That is must listen podcasting. And like, subscribe, comment, vote on YouTube and CastBox. Tell us you like what we're doing. Tell us if you don't like what we're doing. Just comment. And, you know, it takes a second to press that like button. Smash the fuck out of it! <laughs> and for, I like that. Sound bite. <laughs> and for all your wrestling with entertainment news... Please follow our official Twitter handle at Wrestling with E for everything that is Wrestling with Entertainment. And you can always follow all of us on on Twitter as well. I am at JamesJ993. What can they find, Coleco? I am Coleco. I'll probably be live tweeting the Royal Rumble because I got kids and they're going to be yelling. So I don't want to fuck nobody over. <laughs> Is that job? What can they find Mitch Mayhem if Mitch Mayhem tweeted? They can find me at Mitch Mayhem X on Twitter. And what can they find Scooter Dust? You can find me in front of my PS5. I mean, you can find me at Scooter Dust and at UNBS Wrestling. And if you misbehave, you'll find me under your bed. Smash the fuck out of it! (laughs) That's very ominous.
Hello, Coleco Yachts, Mitch Mayhem, Scooter Dust. I'm James J, and this has been Wrestling With Entertainment. Jay White's debuting. Subscribe. Smash it good. Oh, God.